Okay, is that circle like um, okay now? Like Fredo, NBA, you like it's casual. We just don't okay. don't bang with them. We just stay away. Ain't no smoke. Just stay away. You cool. You know. Is that like some hood that just like inherited beef type or like how did it, I'm just curious. Like I really like, don't know. I don't really know how to explain it. Like some people say it's inherited. Some people say it's just the hoods. But at the end of the day, it's like it's family, basically. It's like families just don't mess with them families. <laughs>
I wouldn't be who I am if it wasn't for Carolina Street, the South Baton Rouge, that bottom. Mm. Like, honestly, we ain't even leave from down there until we was like 16, 17, unless we went on a Jose or something. Other than that, everything happened down there, like family, live and die down there. Honestly, I just made it change. I ain't want to die down there. I live my Fact. life. So you moved. You don't live in Louisiana no more. Uh-uh. We ain't gonna say where you live at. I don't know if that's public or not. So, but <laughs> you think that like naming it Carolina Street? I mean, I don't know. I, I don't know if you let niggas know where you live at or not. Shit, that's why I said that. But, I mean, I got a few spots. Honestly. Okay, okay. Like, well, still, we ain't gonna, yeah. the shit I know. We ain't gonna put it out there. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so naming it Carolina Street. Do you think it's still some some emotional ties from home that you? that you missing, and that's why you want to name it after the streets that you come from. Yeah, I ain't lying. Like, this life here different. I ain't gonna lie. Like, the old life, it was hard, but it, back then it felt hard, but it don't really feel hard, like, when it comes to this, because that's what I'm used to. That's the life we was loving. I ain't gonna lie. Fuck living, we was loving. Nah, facts. So, yeah, like, kind of all them, like, my grandma all them, no, they down there still, but... They don't want to move. That's mm-hmm. all they know. Yeah, tell her about a plane, she gonna look at you crazy. Damn, bro, so many, so many ways to go. Just even already with the conversation because, first of all, you talking about Granny. I think that was one of my favorite songs. Boosie, Granny, Granny, Ooh, Granny, woo. Granny. Lot of Anna TV. Oh, you been on that Boosie? Oh, that's when we were living on there. Crazy. Like. That shit. That shit Ooh, was. That way before the ride. That was before Gates I'm blew all up. Fucked up. Nah, that shit was. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. You know, County put me out, she took me in quick, put food in my mouth. Yeah. No, that shit was crazy. But yeah, so, <laughs> um, you speak about your, your parents not wanting to uh, leave, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I wonder, and I wanted to ask you this, like, what? Because I'm from Baltimore, right? And I think it's the same thing. Like, the niggas, we, it's just something about our city as fucked up as it is that we love and it got a hold on us. Niggas just don't want to do. Leave. But that's like with me too. I love my city. What, what, like, what do you think? Not why you love your city. Of course, we. That's that's not where niggas came from. That's what made us. Nah, like it's a different type of love. Mm. Like, I could go to California anywhere in the world, and you know I'd have been to beautiful places, but I could go right there on County Poach on Carolina, and I'm happy like I'm in the middle of Hawaii, mm. Puerto Rico somewhere. I don't know. It's just different. Like that just. Is in your heart, it's you. So what made you leave then? What made you say, I got to get about the hood? Me personally? You yeah. want me to be honest? Yeah, hell yeah. Gase really told me I needed to move. Like, rappers die in their city. Mm-hmm. And I ain't gonna lie, you know me, I'm kind of ignorant. You know I mean? I ain't going nowhere. Yeah. I'm out here. And I'm up. Who? Oh, don't sneeze wrong. It's that. But like, you know, I had to really understand, like it ain't about that. You know, it ain't about that no more. Like, when, when was that? When you said, that statement you just said, and I'm up, you know what I'm saying? Oh, and I'm up, what yeah. that mean? When, nah, nah, when when yeah. was that? What, I'm assuming that was right before you moved. And he oh, like, yeah, nah, yeah. you gotta move. When oh, was yeah. that in your life, like in your career? When was that? That's like, like right after the tour, literally. Like right after the Casa tour. Okay. And you know, I was signed and stuff, did the deal. It was like, man, you gotta get from down there, little brother. I'm like, from down where? <laughs> oh yeah, you hear me? <laughs> man, ain't going nowhere. You hear me? I catch the road, you know, for shows and but this what I know. Why would I go? I felt like why would I go somewhere out of my element? For what? Mm. I'm good here. My hood love me. I'm strong. Man, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. That's what I was taught. But, like, it was bigger than that, because you got to think, like, I done been in jail on walls and all that there, so, you know, to avoid that, like, he like, how you going to win if you keep going back to the same situation? Like, that's insane. Do the same thing and insane. expect different the results. Of he right, though. You know, I, I couldn't lie. It's crazy because it does feel good, though, right? Let's be real. Niggas work our ass off to get some notoriety, right? We nah. see niggas in our city up lit, 
living life and we youngins looking up to these niggas like nah that's what i want to be so when you get it you get that on your side you get the city on your side it's like nah i work hard for this but like Gates said right not even Gates. shit boosie say this all the time yeah you gotta get out your city you gotta get out your own city we see so many niggas that die in their own cities nipsey hustle shit jada youngin um fucking uh just like little snoop it's little snoop yeah fucking it's so many people that that we see constantly you get what i'm saying that's so crazy I was, i'm trying to pick your brain of right before you move right like why was it like nah man like i love my city i'm staying here even though you know shit you just got you just did a bid a three-year <laughs> bid three and a half years like it just in us though like it's not see like you might look at it like oh this nigga crazy or he just lost his mind he gangster but it's not even that like this is why i live and survive that this is what i know like why would I change my element? But like he explained it to me, like him breaking it down, like you see what's going on. Honestly, they dying. Yeah, they dying four, five a day in our city, like back to back. But see me, that's normal to me. You hear me? But you know he didn't elevate it. He don't really. He come to the city, but he be on the road a lot. But when you see that there, you let that still remind you. Yeah, this it's called Death Valley for a reason. Mm. Honestly, damn. Is is it? Do you think a part of it was unconsciously like you trying to prove to niggas that I'm still distant from? Like I wouldn't. Nah, I ain't got to prove that. <laughs> That's like where I'm from is solidified. Mm. Like, honestly, but like I'm just I'm good in my city. Like I'm comfortable. Mm. Like why I gotta leave for what? But like now that I have left, like I see more. My money grew real fast. Way Things fast change. Fast. Life change. Talk to me about. You said it's hard, right? It's hard here. It's hard back home. Talk to me about taking that right path, right? Now that was hard. Tell me how. Tell me yeah. why. Like why is that so hard? How is it hard? Like. Coming up, man, I ain't have no job, like no nine to five. And we was hustling. Yeah, we gonna get it in the other way. But now it's legal. It be kind of, it feel funny sometimes, honestly. Cause like I'm used to, like how, what they call dirty money. Yeah, that's just what it is. That's how I got it. It don't feel dirty to me. Mm. It's been like everything else been, literally. Talk to me about this then, like having that street mentality, you know, like if it's up, it can be up, right? I'm stuck. I feel like that's the easier way out. And I feel like I'm glad we able to have this conversation because you somebody that niggas can, shit, it's all on the blogs, it's all on the internet. They want to know, they can, they can know, you know what I'm saying? So you have that direct observation or representation of what the streets were because you was a part of it right yes sir but i want to talk to you about the difference in making the right decision and how hard that really is right because yeah. it's easy or and i want you to correct me if I'm wrong i feel like it's easy when you out in the streets and a nigga play with you wrong and you do what you gotta do to you know retaliate talk about how hard it is when a nigga playing with you and you gotta walk away I feel like, I, I don't know, but I feel like that's harder. Mm -hmm. Honestly, like, it depends. Certain shit don't slide. Mm. Like, what, like what, what wouldn't slide? Huh? What, like, what wouldn't slide? You know, like, you talking, like, you can't hurt me. I know that. Okay. You talking and getting loud because you scared. Mm. But you show a weapon or... Of course. Act like you that, yeah. yeah. Then it go down. Of course. And it ain't coming back. Of course. I mean, but I but feel like, like so when you was in the streets, nigga talk shit. Was it the same? Was it the same attitude? Like he talk shit, fuck that nigga. Or it's that, you, get, you get what I'm saying? Was, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but like, I'm this what I'm living day to day. Mm. Yeah, you gonna respect my mind. Yeah, you ain't got no choice. So how hard is that to turn that flip? That to turn that switch now? Right? Yeah, it be talk. hard. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It be hard. Now, that's like, what I'm talking about. Yeah, 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 yeah. Who, who you? Yeah, <laughs> but then I'm, you know what? You right. You right. You got that. Because like, listen to the Bible. He not know what he do. 
You don't know what you're doing. You just talking. Mm. You yeah. You don't know it could go there. But you know what? You're right. I'm gonna walk away. I'm gonna get to that money though. Mm. I'm gonna stay away. Going back to the hood, I feel like um you saw one of your close friends die at, at age twelve. Yeah. Being grown now, right? Yeah, twenty four. Right. Yeah, man. I like, 12, <laughs> I like yeah. that being grown. Right, being, being, being yeah. a grown man now. Because yeah. I remember you, like like you said, at one point in time, you didn't even know how to process it. Yeah. This is the nigga that gave you your first strap. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, this nigga that introduced you to the streets. Basically, show me the game. You being a grown man now, right? Was you ever able to sit down and really process that? I mean, like... Now I done seen worse. Mm. Yeah, like coming up, I done seen way triple worse than that. But like for a long time, young, like ain't really make sense. Like it made sense. Like I knew you was gone forever, but you understand death when you're young, but you don't. Right. See, like now, nah, you know what death means. Ain't no coming back. Ain't no erasing this. Ain't no switching it. Yeah, once you're gone, you're gone. But like then, like it always felt like I was waiting on some, waiting on them to come back. Mm. You ain't coming back. But I got that feeling, you know, like when you waiting on somebody. But I'm just praying, God will get you through it. You said first thing you, you you said when I asked the question is I didn't seem worse. As if like I feel like sometimes we wear that as a badge of honor. And I feel like, and these are the conversations that I love to have because I feel like these conversations aren't had a lot. You know what I'm saying? We, we, for example, you, you, uh, sign with Gates. Right. We, we starting to see Gates talk about just his emotional side, how he dealt with things, how shit affected him. Right. Do you think you, are you getting, are you learning some of that from him? Is that some of that trickling down to you or not yet? I mean, of course, like you going to adapt to the energy you're around. Mm. So, and then by him making me move and get away from it, like, I'm starting to see, like, the difference. Like, nah, you was tripping. And then a lot of stuff we be we was doing, like, it was like OGs, you know, telling us this. But y'all really scared to do that. Mm -hmm. Y'all ain't even cut like that. Mm -hmm. Kind of find out we get older, some rats, all type of stuff. You know, you ain't really built. But you got me young head first. Who ain't gonna play? Isn't it crazy the power of perception? Like, in the power of influence? Like, we, um, you know, we come up and we see, like I said, we from the hood, we in the hood, and we see all these niggas that we look up to. Baller. And we like, yo, I wanna be like this person and that person. Just don't Little know he do ain't know. the person. You don't wanna be nothing like him. Nothing like him. And, and you spoke on this, and I, I had wrote this down. Just the power of influence and like how you said niggas will manipulate you to do something that they don't want to do because yeah. they scared. You know, it's crazy because my experience was like the total opposite. And I was going to ask you, where do you think that changed? Like my experience, my old heads that was in the streets told me play ball. And I had a conversation with somebody and he was like, that's because you were good at it. I think I was talking to Bad Hunter Izzy. And he, he was telling me why he became a crip. And I was like, bro, that same nigga that took you out to be on the street could have told you go play basketball somewhere and do anything else with your life positive and he told me he was like i wanted this and it was just like parents and he was like man if you want to do it i'd rather you do it with me because i'm gonna make sure you be good i feel like your experience might have been a little obviously because you're like they manipulating you to do something that they wouldn't do but no funny business like him it don't matter how he tell it to you like he kind of manipulating you too i want you to do it with me but at the same time, why would I still make you risk it? If I fuck with you, I love you, right? Mm. You my little nigga, right? Now I go play ball. I buy your cleats and your shoulder pads and say, why ain't you telling you shit like that? Mm. Honestly. But you want me to stand on the block with you. Knowing there's a chance of me going to jail, ain't no more football. But you know I love that death, but you know I like what I see right now too. Mm. Cause I'm young. Guns, money, them bad bitches. Fly ass cars, nigga, I'm walking. I got holes in my shoes, honestly. Of course you gonna go for that. But right now, if they tell you that today, would you go for that? Shit. 
Honestly. I, that's why it's crazy because, again, like, we was talking, and I might joke, like, you know, you're a street nigga, but I always say, like, I'm, by birth, I'm I'm a hood nigga. Like, I come from the projects. I'm calling home projects, West Baltimore, you know what I'm saying? But I'm not of the hood. And I feel like I give I give so much, and I wish I could see my big homies right now and just shake their hands, cause like the same niggas that was selling drugs that I learned all the bad habits through, they was the same niggas say stay in school, like literally. You feel me? And I feel like that changed over time. I feel like over time niggas started recruiting the young niggas, and shit is getting crazy out this motherfucker. Like these niggas not playing. Yeah, it's different. Like, but you got to think like when they telling you stay in school, you like in middle school and. No, I was just I was going young. to high school. I was and, not. I wasn't like yeah, I elementary. Was, yeah, I was young. Yeah, of course you a kid, kid. But when they see you coming through the hood, you jumping out your shell. Yeah, I ain't not that little nigga. Gonna be dangerous. Yeah, <laughs> literally, that's how OG like they spotting you, but you start you know hustling too. And that little nigga hustling already. And of course they're gonna. Or even if you're not, they just see you. You you might be balling, but the niggas you hang around, they thugging. So they know you got it in you. But you different. Mm. You gotta have your own mind. But you, you know, you a kid. Shit, they got the bag right now. It look good. You think that's a lot of money, but at the end of the day, when you young, you really ain't got shit. Being somebody, well, we that, didn't. Being somebody that been through it, that actually walked through the dirt. You feel me? How do? How does that change? How, how, is it even possible to change that? That whole dynamic. I mean, certain shit just never gonna change. Honestly. Mm. But it depends, like, the kid, who his dad is, who is my male. It depends your situation. Like, we grew up in the street. So, I mean, and some our dad is dead, our dad is thugging. Yeah, I don't even know who my fucking pops is. You see what I'm saying? So, shit like that, like, as a kid, you look for that love. And shit, that OG might be showing that love. Yeah, he do this, he do that there. But some of them, make sure you're straight, though. Keep it gangster with you. So, I mean, I can't tell you don't look up to them or don't fuck with them or not even love them because you can't control who you love when they show them real love. Mm. I understand. You could go to school, the teacher, laugh at your ass and, you know, tell you ain't going to be shit. Yeah, hey, honestly. Had, had, had teachers say that. You know that? You ain't going to be shit like they'll tell you that. But he'll tell you, nigga, you gonna be a boss one day. Mm. Honestly. So which one you really feeling? Honestly, who's telling you you gonna be a boss one day? He's speaking life into you. Though. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yo, um, that's a great segue because I always wonder, like I always wanted to be, even coming up, and how I mentored, I always wanted to be like the mentor that that did it and lived it but be able to tell you not to do it, right? Right. And I started to, to, to realize, like, how how is that possible? Think about when it's related to the streets. If a nigga's mm-hmm. in the streets and he's telling you, don't do it, but I'm doing it, and it's working for me. Right. And it looks like it's working for, from, my, from my perspective as a right. nigga, right? But he's telling me not to do it. How does that even correlate? Could, does that even exist? Could that even exist in this world? Nah, because, like, as you, the kid get older, like, as you get older, you're going to be like, how you going to tell me do something and you ain't doing it? Mm. Like, you telling me go to church. You don't go to church. You ain't seen the church in 30 years. But you're going to tell me go to church. I'm living so wrong, but you did all this in your younger days. Yeah, honestly. So, so then how do we get how do we get better then? You feel me? Because I feel like the, the, the goal of life is to always progress, right? So you go through something. I mean, me personally, I don't know how we get better. I just know like how I got better. Like certain shit you gotta distance yourself from. Like certain shit you can't hang around. You know it's in you, but you know what triggered that. Mm-hmm. So don't go around that. Like me moving, that was a good thing. Cause like me always in the city. Yeah, I love the rap. I love this rap. But I love that life too. But if I ain't around that, I'm always on the road, doing shows, features, all of that videos. I ain't got time to do that. Mm. So then that I start to see things different. But like as a kid coming up, shit, my OG got that bad. So you you kind of had to go through the shit that you went through to see that. Yeah, but we ain't had no choice. How we gonna survive? 
It's ways to survive. How? It's ways to survive. It's, it's niggas around you that survive. I'm not saying you ain't have a lot of friends that lost their life, but it's niggas around you. Yeah, no, I'm talking survive. about like financially wise too. It's ways to survive though. And I feel like you know that now, for sure. Well, yeah, now, but back then, what I was taught, nah. And yeah, we're going to get it this way and that way. The job, mom and I'm struggling. I had mom, mom, yeah, kind of them there, they were struggling. I was just talking about a job. Who? But I go around the corner. OG got that bitch sitting on them sixes. He ain't doing no struggling, in my eyes. But all that shit be fake. I think that's how we change it, really, right? The people who went through it, and they tell that story of how it don't work, right? It, and, it's, and I think this is what I learned along the way. It ain't telling you don't do it, right? I'm telling you my experience. And clearly it ain't, it ain't work. We see all the, all of the, I feel like, shit, it's, everything is on the fucking internet. Do your research, read a book. Everything is in book, it's documented, it's well documented. Definitely. Like all of the, the real gangsters, right? The niggas that sold drugs literally got killed or became a rat. I just like the big, they told. the big dogs, Real right? Shit. And we 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 sit around here, we, we we make fun of all these niggas, this person, that person, but but they idolize them. I don't understand that. I don't care how big you was, how many bricks you sold. You could have sold a million bricks and dropped one statement. You was a rat. You don't get no respect. I don't care who you is, honestly. When you say you don't care who who you is, it's, so because we we hear this conversation a lot, mm -hmm. the the pedestrian versus the the nigga that chose the streets. Right. I I feel like that's that still stands right. Or yeah, not. I mean, because a pedestrian tell like like a pedestrian, yeah, a pedestrian, you're a rat, a witness, yeah. That's so what he's you still is. a rat, even if he ain't choose, choose that life. If somebody just and see, I used to feel like I still do feel like. He not in the street, so you can't expect him not to tell, but hey, don't get in my business. Mind your business. I know your parents taught you that, mm. honestly. So I'm thinking of if you hurt somebody and I don't know, let's say an uh, innocent bystander. Right. And they say it was this person. That's not ratting, right? Like No, that's right. It's right. Yeah, that's, that's right. Crazy. <laughs> nah, you gonna park me out. That have shit to do with it. He got shot. He fucking got medical bills, and you tell me that's a like he's supposed to just be like street code. Never seen a him. Rat ain't gonna get his medical bills paid, but it's gonna serve justice. I'm assuming serve justice. I mean, shit, that's it's a real thing nowadays. No, like, is there no such thing as justice? Shit, man. But think about it. The police kill people every day. Facts. But it's a big deal when we get to banging it out. So you see what I'm saying? So, let's, they kill innocent people. Let's ver reverse it. Niggas recording police killing people. And they beating the other. But is that, but is that ratting though? Yeah, that's ratting. All that's ratting. She's hot, bro. I mean, they could look at it how they want and put it like <laughs> this, this here. Crazy. They gonna put it like, oh, where's the police did it? Just like, what's the dude who oh, something that's talking about? Oh, he a gangster. He ain't tell on them, but he told on the police. You told, you told, Jeez. you tell on them. You definitely gonna tell on me, honestly. Damn, so tell them the police is right. Yeah, all that's right. I mean, they could justify it because, oh, he killing this man here for nothing. And if we do it, it's that. But at the end of the day, that nigga who did told them people what happened, he ratted. it. Man, I pray I don't Even know if he mean. ain't in the street, he still read it, though. Yo, that's insane. <laughs> Bro, I ain't going to lie to you. I'm gonna just be I know it's crazy, that but it is it's the realistic. the craziest shit ever. Like, first of all, like that shit is retarded. I'm sorry. Respect, oh, respectfully, I say the respect. We men, we can talk. <laughs> that shit is. Yeah, I'm sorry. Like I'm not, and I ain't taking up for no rest. I do feel like if you choose the street life, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you shit don't rat. go your way. Yeah, you And you tell rat. you a fucking rat. I, yeah. I believe that. But a random nigga on the street, I'm sorry. Like it. Like it, I don't. Th I don't think that's rad. I think that's just the so tell me. Standard. Okay, so you said. An innocent bystander get hit, right? Yeah. I ain't trying to hit you. That was a mistake. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Real that's talk. A, that's a mistake. So he's going to take that to the head. I ain't going to say take it to the head. Crazy. 
You know I shot you. Just come to me. I'll pop you off for that. What the fuck? Yeah. You talking about medical ain't bills. No way. Real shit. <laughs> but nah, you won't send a nigga to jail. Yo, it ain't no. You won't oh, send me man. to the fucking grave. The fuck? You man. is crazy. Well, if you go to the grave, you can't rap. I'm just saying. So you, you ain't dead if you telling these people something. Yo, that. I ain't never heard this. I'm just. Because no. he not in the street. He burnt him. <laughs> he burnt you out. Oh, he burnt an individual out and make a statement to detectives. That's not right. Hey, hey listen. I, Honestly, gonna, I got to hit it. I don't think so because. You don't think so? I don't think so because. So what you think is right? Like I said, if a nigga chose to, to walk a certain path. Right? No, no. I know. I understand. I said what you think is right. That's what I'm saying. That's what I think is right. Like, like, I understand. He chose the streets. Yeah. He in the streets. Of course, he's not supposed That's to That's what tell. I think is right. Yeah. That's me, personally. But ratting is giving information to the police. Oh, I'm okay. I mean, I don't know. I just feel like if I go rob a bank and, I don't know, little Miss Sally see me rob the bank because I ain't want no mess, and she like, he did it, I don't look at her. I mean, I guess. I mean, not I saying I'll look at you like I gotta get I'm you not mad at her. Like that's yeah. my fault. I'm, I'm not, not mad at the woman. Yeah, so. yeah, of course. I'm not mad at you. I'm kind of mad at you because you got me doing this time. But I can expect that of you for sure, for sure. But at the same time, I get what you had with it. You should have had a man. Honestly, she ain't thugging and she ain't saying that I am. Oh my god. Too scared. Thanks. I feel like I, I feel you at with him. I, I ain't gonna lie to you. I think, but she's still ready. Cause I when mean, you look cool. at your paperwork, he gonna say just like this. Little here. Miss Sally. Huh? <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say one of the victims or a pedestrian or innocent bystander around identified. Yeah, identified. Okay. such and such right. as the shooter identified. or the bank robber. Yeah, right there. Okay, so, identified. <laughs> I, get, I, I, get, I get it, but, but but I feel like okay, it's not. She's not held to the same standard as the nigga in the streets, though. Nah, nah, okay, nah. So let me ask you this then: street niggas, niggas in the streets. <laughs> I feel like because you're a smart young man, right? Yes, sir. you know that it's no honor among thieves. No, for sure. So why the fuck? I'm just curious. Cause that's why I say I love I love these conversations because I can talk. We could talk as men, yeah, yeah, and not sure. in front of a camera, and like, and I love this, but why, being men that we are, being street niggas that y'all is, you know what I'm saying? Niggas, <laughs> well, ex street nigga, um, <laughs> right. being that street nigga, and you know that there's no honor amongst these. Why do you hold a standard to another nigga to not snitch when we know there's no honor amongst thieves? If anything, my opinion, yeah. if anything. Is your fault for doing anything around somebody else because you've given an opportunity for somebody else to even be available to be snitched on you? I feel like that's not smart. If anything, we need to start yeah. blaming not we niggas that's in the street need to start blaming themselves for doing the shit around niggas to be able to. I be mean, snitched on. I put it like that: every predicament, like dealing like that, is your fault. Like if you fumble or something, you know what I'm saying? But like, like what you saying? Some people don't give you the chance to. Uh, be my uh, court defendant. Mm. I'm just being honest. But like, why would I? If you in this, like you said, if you choose the street life, why are you telling? Honestly. See, I don't know. I just feel like with the movies I watch and the books I read. No, this ain't a movie. Though. No, I know, but I'm saying like we see, <laughs> but we see the niggas. We see that everybody <laughs> eventually snitch. You said it, right? The niggas that niggas look yeah. up to, they snitch. Yeah. So if I'm doing business with niggas, eventually I see the top tier niggas, the niggas that made the most money in life with this whatever shit, they just snitched on niggas. Right? Yeah. I don't even understand why I would put my... I, 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 I'm just trying, Not even putting yourself in the predicament. I don't understand why niggas... But you gotta niggas, think like, when you're in the street doing crime, you don't think you're gonna get caught, honestly. Of course not. Yeah. So it's not about getting caught. So you might be feeling like, oh, that's that nigga. Yeah, that nigga got caught and read it. It's about being upset about the next man. Not even getting caught. I get like right. cool. Niggas is thugging. Niggas doing what they gotta do for their families. I ain't I ain't judging none of that shit. I get it. You know what I'm saying? Right. I'm just saying, why do niggas hold I feel like niggas hold rats to a high standard by giving these niggas attention? I like I just I don't know. I ain't blaming no another man for my downfalls. 
Uh-uh. That's what I learned. No. You know what I'm saying? So if you're a I ain't even acknowledging you. I don't even give a fuck. I put it was my fault for putting myself in a position. That's what I'm trying to understand. I feel like niggas hold rats to a I feel like niggas hold rats to a higher standard than anybody else because they get more attention to the niggas that's solid. To be real. Honestly, real. To talk. be real, rats get more attention to the niggas that's sitting in jail and not saying nothing. You ain't you don't hear about if a nigga famous, yeah, you hear about Bobby Smurr. Okay, cool. But we ain't hearing about your everyday stand up nigga that's in jail that's holding it down. Shit, they ain't they ain't even getting no money sent nah, to him. He ain't even remember. And Honestly. that's that's what I'm saying. I don't understand the, the not even the animosity, the the attention that they get. Like, bro, I feel like as men, and I wanted to go to this next, I feel like as men, we gotta be so accountable with ourselves that if some shit happened, I put myself in there, fuck it. I gotta deal with that. Right. So that means you gotta get yourself out of it. And you know, on that route you talking, there's only one way to get up out of it. No, nigga, it ain't. <laughs> you crazy. Man, you going, huh? I'm going to keep it G. I, I be here in places, be talking about life sentence is 25 years. Where we from, life is to death. Yeah, ain't no more coming home and all that. A hundred thousand people will get a parole release. So you get that out your head. So let me get uh, let me understand. When you say there's only one way to get yourself out of the situation, what do you mean? Because the first thing I think about is, yeah, that's no, bro. That's not the only way. I you mean, can just stop. You can just not do it. You yeah. can just live a good life. Uh, what if what if all uh, life I ain't, I ain't taking that turn? What if life say, oh, it's time for to go to court? No, I'm talking. No, no, I'm talking after. I'm saying after. Like if you if you are after. blessed enough, after, if you are blessed enough to come home, yeah, you got elf. a second chance. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I feel like you doing but good. But I beat mine. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. That's the difference. In Louisiana, with that doubt, you ain't beating it. But I mean, since we here, you I think you you beat yours because you was blessed. I think it was like a false yeah. charge or some shit like that. Yeah. First of all, how, talk to me. <laughs> Can we walk through that real quick? How does how does that happen? Like say false charge you of something. Like, if you want to break it down, you can break it down. It's like he say, she say. Okay. I read that somebody said that it was you. Yeah. You say you identified me, but nobody else seen me. The evidence, where the evidence? Okay. Honestly, where's the evidence? Steve Moore proved that. You have no evidence on me. So You got word of mouth study. He did this, he did that. Okay, he involved in all this. What the evidence? Let's, let's Freedom not, man. Let's not down. Let's not downplay ourselves. I ain't gonna downplay me. So for the niggas that's watching this, <laughs> that don't know, right? We just gonna assume it ain't everybody. I know. Just tell them what happened. Um, the situation. Like you what got you mean? For, how you got how you got booked? Why you got booked? Oh, why I got booked? Yeah. Oh, two people had got shot up in the car. Right. Well, SUV. And you know they was in and out on the scene. One was supposed to die on the scene, but while they was in the hospital, one of them said. Dussa shot me, and he trying to do me like he did such and such. But me personally, I had nothing to say. What I'm gonna say? Mm. That's I can't say you. You know what I'm saying? That's on you. My lawyer talked to y'all. I don't want to talk. Mm. But then you know I was all. You know we post back up on Carolina Street and the SWAT came. Mm. You know homicide, all type of Asians and shit. They was surrounding us. And, Oh, they showing pictures and all that there. And they started from there with that death situation. Damn. And that moment when you was, when that shit was going down and niggas came to get you, was you afraid of at all? Afraid of what? Being locked up, nigga, like shit. Uh, take, nah. nigga, like, taken away from you. I mean, I ain't gonna say I was afraid or I wasn't afraid, but I ain't really feel nothing. Like me, I'm innocent. I'm good. Like, I'm looking at all the police. They got the pictures of me and all this here. But, and then another thing, when they first got me, I thought I was getting a bond. They don't want to give me no bond. Mm. And so I was, what they call it? Uh, fugitive flight risk, all type oh, of shit. Risk. Yeah, dangerous, all type of shit they were saying. Putting mm. it in the paper, like I'm a man this. I ain't say nothing, no. I ain't responding to none of them. So I, I asked you, was you able to, going back a little bit, I was asking you, did you ever get, get a chance to process like you losing your friend at 12, right? You was like, I seen it worse. I asked you, are you afraid? What were you afraid when niggas came to God? So you're like, 
Ain't shit to be afraid of. I mean, it's the police. Yeah. But just going, because when I when I hear your story, the first thing I think of like, damn, this nigga been through a lot. This nigga young. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I feel like as men, we aren't able to, and this is why I went into the Kevin Gates shit. I feel like as men, we aren't able to like really speak on our feelings because it's like we gotta keep a guard up. Right. But you don't. You gotta just be you. Mm. That's what I was taught. Right. Like I just be me. So how are you feeling? That's the that's what I'm trying to tap. Like, like how I'm feeling like, now? Just just about everything that happened. Like when you think about it, when you go back and you recollect your thoughts and you like, bro, damn, this shit happened, this shit happened, this shit happened. Like, where does that leave you mentally? Me personally, mm-hmm. I'm blessed. For sure. I'm blessed. What happened in the past, I can't change that. Mm-hmm. God got this. We're gonna walk forward though. I walk by faith. Damn. Like I don't none of that even bother me no more. I pray about it and forget about it. So how did you get over it? Let's talk about that. Let's God. Go. You say God, but how? Like you just pray, like pray. Cause it's somebody that's going through that, that's trying to get through that. How how do they get through that? Like mentally, you gotta get at the God. Mm. Well, go and talk to him and talk to them. Everybody got their opinion, of course. How you know his opinion right? But you know God ain't gonna lead you wrong. Mm. He gonna put it in your face. It's up to you to see it. Yeah, I can't go to my manager, them, or my cousin, my partner, Gates, nobody. Because everybody got a different opinion. But God's going to give you what you need to see. Mm. And deep down, you know what's right, you know what's wrong. Some shit you just live with. As crazy as this is going to sound, right? I feel like that's so powerful that you said that because it's real, but it's it, it gets cliche. I say it because I feel like you can correct me if I'm wrong. I think you learned that because I think you even said you did what six months in, in uh solitary confinement? Yes, sir. That's like is that what 23 and one? Like what is Yeah, that's when it well really like what we had is like 23 and 30, and you get like 30 minutes out to see her. Some days 15, you might get 15 on the phone. But if you take that 15 on the phone, then you don't shower that day. Yeah. I think, going back to what I was going to say, I think the crazy thing about it is, like, you know, the blessings in the, in the, uh, in the triumph, in the pain. There's so many blessings in the pain. It's so many people out there that go through things free, being free, and they aren't able to pray or get through those, the things they're getting through. You ain't really have a choice, but I feel like... I, I think a lot of your your spiritualness or, or how you was able to get through it came from you being learning how to be by yourself and and learning how to be okay. Yeah, or oh, you like I ain't lying now. Uh, being by yourself, that's different. Like especially like in lockdown, hmm. like how y'all call solitary confinement. We call it lockdown. Like in there, uh, I don't know shit. I just see the shit on TV and movies. Yeah, like it's uh, <laughs> nah. <laughs> It's I'm a mind with thing. With you, and then you got to think, you done been in there so long, like, I don't mean to say it's so small, just like, really, you damn near, you only could sit like this here and there. Yeah, stand up. You can't even stand up all the way. It's small, but your mind, that's why you got to have a strong mind. Mm. I know dudes, like, who done started talking to the wall? Literally. What they say? The wall's talking to me? Yeah, you would think that. But it's your mind. But you got to pray. Gotta pray. Damn. Go How many ahead. times you think you prayed a day when you was doing lockdown? I ain't lying. I prayed so many times. Mm. Like, I don't trust nothing but God. Like, so I prayed when I first wake up. Then they might bring a child. I start back praying. Might sit my plate back down, get the right, stop again, pray. I don't know, like, you're going to pray. You're going to pray all day because you're going to get to thinking about this and thinking about that. Then you think about your people in that world, your family. Then you got stuff you dealing with, you know, court cases, more cases. They study popping up on you. And then, like, when you ain't got no money, like, you ain't got no choice. Like you say, you got no choice. You got to pray God with you. One time you had, you was very, like, Detail with like you being in the cell and if it get hot, you had to like strip down to your boxes. 
put the uh, the water from the toilet on the, on the floor. Yeah, ain't no fan on lockdown. No. Ain't no little hole in the door. None of that. Yeah, right. you in a closed den, and plus in the summer, like it's no AC. It's no AC. It's no heat in penitentiary. Yeah, so when you in a cell, ain't no air flow in here. And in Louisiana, it might get up to ninety mm. outside. But in inside there, you like you in the oven, so you at about a hundred and twenty. No, facts. <laughs> so literally, you coming out that shirt and them boxes, so but you I, know that water cool. What I was going with it is we hear these stories, right? We hear the stories of niggas getting raped. We hear all these harsh stories, stories about that. If you don't mind, right? I want you to share with me some of your daily prayers. Like, how was that? Because all of the stuff that, that that's fucked up, yeah, I get it. It's fucked up, man. I wish that on nobody. But, like, for somebody that's, that might not be in jail, that could sh- do those same prayers at home because they fucked up. They mentally fucked up. What was some of them? What was them prayers like? Like, what was your prayer in the morning? Like, me personally, afternoon? like, I pray for my problems. And, like. How was it? Not only Recited that, like. You I'm like, oh yeah, yeah. I'm finna get to both of them. Like, okay. I pray for my problem, but I also like, even in the worst time, I pray for the blessing. Mm. Just like they could starve us on lockdown. It could be multiple shit. You know what I'm saying? They could never let you out to even shower. They could never let you go. You know, I'm thankful for that. That's cool. Mm. Even though I'm in this bad situation, can't do nothing. But I pray to God, Lord, please let me get through this. Lord, only you can guide me. Keep me protected. Keep my demons away from me. Lord, please don't let me kill nobody in here. Because I know guys like who got stuck in there, like who I met in jail. Yeah, he got two years. But the wrong nigga played with him and he ended up killing him in jail. Killing him in the cell on lockdown. Lord, don't let me get in that situation. Because he know me best. Ain't no dying, but I pray. Pray to keep all that away, all bad energy. Praying for my mama, them. Praying for kindness. Praying for the ones I love. Even though the ones, some of them I prayed for, like my grandfather died while I was in jail. Yeah, my grandma died while I was in jail. My first cousin's close, died while I was in jail. Everybody was dying. But I kept praying on it. I'm praying on it. This is what I'm praying on. Yeah, I'm praying for my case. But at the same time, I'm praying for the ones I love. Mm. But you don't really feel it when you're in the world. So you down. See, when you're in the world, I could get to you. But I'm locked up. I can't get to nobody. Ain't got to just be danger. It could just be to wake up and say, hey, Connie, how you doing today? You need a paper? I can't do that. Real talk. Mm. She's sick. My other grandma was sick. I couldn't see her. If she died, ain't let me go to the funeral. Literally. But I used to pray for her so hard. And I ain't lying. I know people feel like, oh, God let you down, and God ain't let me down. I wanted to that go was into part that. of it. I wanted to go into that. I feel like so many people talk about faith, faith, faith. But in those hard times, I feel like people, this is what I'm going to say. <clears throat> I feel like people misuse the word faith because... Faith is about those times when it's hard and you have no idea. Right. When you in lock up and you have no idea when you're coming up. You don't know what the court going to do. I feel like that's when you're most faithful. That's when you have to, that's when your faith has to be tested. Tell me about those times when you didn't know what the fuck was in store the next day. And you praying and you, how didn't you, the question I guess is how didn't you lose faith? faith how how was you able not to lose faith because it's easy I'm like, like bro, i ain't like i'm human i'm human some days like i wig out mm. man fuck how this shit gonna turn out i ain't god ain't blessing me i'm locked up i can't do this i can't but at the same time god was blessing me the whole time i'm still breathing mm. yeah but as a human you a curse god it gets so hard you be like man why me? But then that's when I put in my head, I know why me. Because <laughs> I'm built for it for real. Mm. That's why I came through it. All them situations was meant to happen. I don't, oh, I wish this wouldn't have happened. I regret this happening. No. That was supposed to happen. That's why I'm where I'm at today. 
Without that, I wouldn't be here. Honestly. God knew all this was going to happen. Everything was rope. If I wasn't going to make it, what would they say? He put his strongest battles on the strongest so, soldiers. Toughest soldiers. For Why sure. he put that battle on me? Because he know he, want, he know he built for it. Yeah, and you got to believe that. Even the days when I, I didn't believe it, I could shake back to my senses. Forgive me for what, thoughtfully and unthoughtfully. You said something that I wanted to bring up. Um, one second. Oh, shit. You said, it was a saying you said, fuck, I think I might have screenshot. Don't give me one second. I wanted to get your thought. I wanted you to break this down for me. Because <clears throat> I didn't, uh, I read it, and I don't think I understood it perfectly. Shit, it's a saying you said. Fuck, fuck, fuck. The last one, so I got a lot of saying. It was something like, the last part of it, I, I think it might have been Hebrew. It wasn't Hebrew, but like, no, it wasn't Hebrew. It was something like, um, some understanding. I don't know if you remember. Oh, the lips of wisdom only yes. heard to those with ears of understanding. The lips of wisdom, say it again. I only heard to those with the ears of understanding. What does that mean? Like, I could lead you the right way. I could tell you the right thing. Mm -hmm. But it's up to you to see it. And just like I just was telling you, like, I could ask him, I could ask him, I could ask him. But if I pray, it's going to come in my face. It's up to me to see it. And like an old head told me that. Like, and this here is like in the middle of my jokes. Like when I kept hitting the news around that time. But he running it to me. The lips of wisdom only hurts to those the ears of understanding. Talking to a fool is like talking to a donkey. I'm like talking to a donkey, a donkey ass. Mm. Yeah, but God spoke through that donkey. The one who we all looked at as ass. But it started to make sense. Cause like my whole life, like coming up, like people thought I was crazy or thinking, oh, he ain't shit, but woo up, I'm telling you the whole time. One day I'm gonna make it. I used to always tell people that one day I'm gonna make it. You playing? Ha ha ha! Laugh, but and then I explained it to him. Like we're just sitting in the cell running it. Now we've been here at like this time about three and a half months, literally. And we just, you know, we got tight. We got to running it. He called Weedy. His name Weedy. Like this year, I think he made like 33 years. He been down, and he was explaining it to me. He was from Zion City. And like that, that just changed my outlook on life, would it? Because like you could tell me something and it could be God speaking through you. But like when I was young, I ignored it. But see, that's why I listen to everybody now. Even if your opinion don't matter, it do matter. Mm -hmm. It matter enough I need to hear. Why? Because that could be God trying to send me a sign. So how do you differentiate what's God and what's not God? Because like? I feel like... It's so many people that give advice and all advice isn't good. Like, honestly, it's spiritual. You gonna feel it. Mm. It ain't no such thing as, oh, look at him. Oh, this God probably speak. No, you gonna feel it. You gonna know. Cause there's gonna be something come out your mouth that you don't even know what you saying. Mm. Honestly, you don't know my problems. I don't know your problem. But I could be telling you something and you be like, damn, man, God just confirmed that, bro. That's confirmation. Mm. I know that to happen to you in life. That's God. Mm. You just don't know it. That's the thing. That's crazy. That's fire. <laughs> nah, nah, for when, real, when though. It, I, didn't, I was like, I looked it up. I was Googling, like, what exactly does he mean by this? Like, what, what does that mean? And then, Like, a lot of people probably, probably felt like that. But, like... Down there where we are, like, we most spiritual people. Like, that energy real. Like, I know it's kind of crazy. Like, see, I'm Baptist. But, like, I got partners who Muslim. Mm -hmm. I got partners, like, who believe in other things. But at the end of the day, I wasn't raised like that. I always believed in God and I always lead me the right way. And like I say, like, confirmation will always come. I don't care who you believe in. You know what's right. And that confirmation gonna show it. Cause at the end of the day, that person across from you don't know your problems mm -hmm. unless you told them. But when that death come, you ain't told. No, I love I love when people can give wisdom in different aspects and ratios of life. I think that's so fire. 
I want. I was curious about this. You spoke. You said this on an interview. You said this a lot. When you were in prison, you was like one of the biggest things you learned was not even learned. Some of the best advice you can give is mind your business. Yeah. Right. In jail, out of jail. Yeah. Mind your business. Where do we? Where do we draw the line though? Because I feel like. What you mean? Where we draw the line? Right. So, we go outside. Is a lady getting beat up by a man? I can mind my business. I don't know what the fuck is going on. Yeah, see, like... Where do we draw? I feel like it's a line we got to draw, though. But suppose that line you cross get you killed. And, but, and, and that's... So like, what line did you draw? I'm, I'm, no, I'm glad you said that. That's a great point. That's a great point. And I always say, I pray that I never be in a position that make me have to show my intentions. Right. And that's with anything. I said it about anything because I never want to be in a compromising position to have to show that I'm a stand-up man. Right? Yeah, because at the end of the day, it right. don't be worth to have. It's not time. worth it. So that's why I pray against that. But right. I say that to say, I say that before I'm about to say what I'm saying. In that moment, it's not about me being fear of death. Right? It's about doing the right thing. And I feel like minding your, that statement, minding your business, and again, this is nothing against you. This is yeah. my opinion when I say this. I feel like sometimes that is like it's is is the easy way out. And of course not jail. But I ask I, that's why I asked about how do we join a line? Because it's, I feel like if some people didn't mind their business and they just stood up, a, a lot of situations would be alleviated. Like make an example. Like like I'm saying, if I go outside right now and it's a woman getting her ass beat by a nigga, I know that's not right. And what yeah. you gonna do? I'm not gonna say what I'm gonna do. You know what I'm saying? That's why I say I pray against it. I'm that. just saying, just say you hop hypothetically, in there. right? Now mind me, you talking about two heated human beings yeah. right now. No, hypothetically, I say this woman from getting killed, but of course, I put myself in a crossfire, right? Because I don't know what the fuck this man got. I don't know what is it. Right. I, I don't know, right? But that's why I say, where do we draw the line? What what's worth somebody else's life? Is it worth me just walking away and just letting her be fucked up? Like we see so many people with cameras, cameras, cameras. And it's, we say mind that business, but first of all, that's not minding your business. Yeah, that's not minding your business. Where do we draw the line about just being a good individual and in, in a, in a, in a, a stand-up nigga, a stand-up man? Like, honestly, let's stand up. Because, like, well, I don't believe in hitting women, honestly. But, like, I know how that can go. Like, where we from, like, just say we coming out the apartment building somewhere and a nigga out there beating this woman or something. I ain't lying. You you gonna go hop in that? And it can go either way. Okay, you saving her life, right? But you lost your life. She gonna pay for your funeral? Of course not. Uh, I know. But it's about being right, like you say though, huh? But I always right ain't always right. Mm. Right? I could have mind my business. I got a family. What, what about your daughter? What about your mama? Honestly, you ain't gonna see them no more. Behind somebody you don't even know. Probably don't even give a damn <laughs> that you did. I'm just happy you got him off of. Nah, you're right. I think a lot of this come from this sh sh street mentality, right? And I think it's so unfortunate because it just shouldn't be that complicated. You know what I'm saying? Because I was thinking, like, if, if my woman or my child is out and some harm is done to them, I would hope somebody would save the day, interfere. So because I would want that done for me and my family, unconsciously, man, I gotta do the same thing for somebody else. Yeah, I would, not saying I wouldn't, but I need you to know that's a 50-50 chance. No, for sure, 100%. But that's why I'm asking, Honestly, where do we draw that line though? Just like kids like off limits. Okay, so kids and women, we draw the line of mind and our business with kids and women. Nah, nah, don't, kids for sure. Okay, kids. But like, Certain women, like, I don't know, you don't really know what they going on. Just like, I done seen a woman, <laughs> honestly, like, got beat before. I ain't see her getting beat by the dude, but I'm just saying, like, I know this dude, he'll work off show. He give her his whole check every month. Get her anything she want. Love her to death. But you'll bring, you'll sneak another man in the house with my children. Mm. Honestly, having sex in my bed, 
Honestly, how how would that make you feel like everybody can't take heartbreak? Honestly, no, and that's why right. I say tempers be high, and you go out there and get in the middle of that. His he the temper to the max. I said, what if she got free? What if she don't get free and you don't get free? It's a lot of what ifs in that situation. Like that's the type of stuff. Like I pray like to stay away from. That's why I say I pray. Yeah, that see, I'll like never be certain shit you gotta to, pray on. Like for sure. That's away. why I said that. <laughs> Like, cause that, that's dangerous. That's a fucked you know up position. To be yeah. In. And that's why I say I always pray. Because you ain't God. do nothing wrong. I'm honest. You know what I'm saying? You ain't do nothing wrong. You tried to help. Like, just y'all sell it a different way. Like, yeah, I understand that. But me, I try to stay away. I don't want to get in that. Because, boy, some dudes go crazy behind these women. Nah, for sure. Honestly. I think it's, it's crazy because, like, I always say, you know, having this conversation so many times. I feel like the streets really put, I feel like the streets fucked us up, bro, like mentally, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, yeah, of course. I just feel like in retrospect, right, it's gonna sound crazy, contradicting a little bit, but as, as much as the street fucked us up, I feel like if we use that, those same lessons apply to real life, just in a different perspective, right? So for example. Yeah, you'll be in a better place in life if you did that. Exactly. Like That's I'm, like putting your energies to straight positive. Exactly, you yeah. feel me? Like I used to fight a lot. Right, and I used to always be like, "Nigga ain't gonna play with me. Nigga ain't gonna play with me." And I think it was when I graduated college. That's when I was like, "You know what? I still was fighting my way through college because it was hard. I got kicked out fucking six times in elementary school, twice in fucking high school, one of three different colleges. You know what I'm saying? It was a fight. I had to fight to get there. You know what I'm saying? So it wasn't the same. It wasn't the same fight in, as in the street. Right. But if I just rerouted my thinking somewhere else in a positive manner. Same with what I used to say, like being a bitch, right? I think that was my that was my biggest thing. And I was gonna ask you what was yours. Like in in the projects, like I was not never gonna be a bitch. But that <laughs> I didn't understand what that meant. So if a nigga say something wrong, I ain't no bitch. A nigga do I ain't no bitch. You know what I'm saying? Right. What that really meant when I got older and uh, became a grown man, you knew they say like when you a child, you think as a child, when you become an adult, you put your child as yeah. child's thoughts to the side, right? And I was like, damn, bro, that's not really about being a bitch. Yeah. It's about being a man. Because, see, like, if you could think like that from one argument or feel like that, like, I ain't no disrespect, but that's less of a man. Like, that's what I mean. You can't, you can't get me out of my character. Like, that's why I said, like, you could, yeah, 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 that, that don't bother me. It don't touch me. Yeah, don't threaten me. All that, that don't matter. Like, I see dudes be, I'ma do this, I'ma do that. Boy, you this, boy. You. Oh, that's cool. I hear you. Yeah, but yeah, I ain't been touched. No, nah, facts. Yeah, I'm getting money. Facts. Yeah, what you saying don't matter. That don't pay me. Honestly. No, nah, facts. Pay will pay attention. I fuck with it. Yo, how is the the oh, shit, you didn't buy it, man. Great conversation. Oh, you want some, yeah, get some more. Uh how how is the music going on like how, like how is life going i'm straight i'm straight how is life going on like you in a better place oh yeah so many stories you got but it's good there's stories they behind you right like how, how are you adjusting to to the i guess the straight life i ain't lying sometimes i get ignorant mm-hmm. yeah i get ignorant sometimes they be having to calm me down everything ain't about this ain't about it but it don't really be like shoot them up bang bang it'll be like it's morals it's principles mm. it ain't about the little like it could be twenty dollars little stuff like it ain't about no twenty dollars i got plenty of money it's the principle you trying to play me out of it or you didn't rip me out of you know what i'm saying it'd be little small things like i just be like disrespect is not tolerated like and I hate when like certain people try to undermine you, things like that, like that irritate me. And I be ready to look, yeah, come here. But then they be like, you tripping. And you know what? I said, you right. You is right. Cause what he don't even matter. You might have needed it more than me. It's, I might have blessed your day. It's crazy because Knowledge, wisdom matters, right? I was yes, gonna sir. say age, but wisdom. And you 24, right? Yes, sir. I was thinking the same way. 
It's the principle. It ain't about that. It's the principle, right? But it be bigger than that, though. It's, it's you got to so see much past bigger, it. It's so much bigger you than that. You got to see past it. If you don't, you're going you gonna to kill yourself. You're going to survive. Uh, uh, talking you're about not. the industry, I feel like the industry is full of yeah. what we would call what? Fake niggas, yeah, right? Yeah, fake niggas, flaws. But at the end of the day, you got to be able to survive. Mm. You got to look past that. It's about your goal and where you going in life. It's crazy because I, I get this nigga love all the time. My One of my dudes from back home, DJ Flo, I never forget. Never forget. I used to always say, like, these niggas not genuine. These niggas not genuine. And he looked at me, he was like, boy, you crazy. Everybody is genuine. But what happens is some niggas just genuinely fucked up. Really that shit? point blank period. Some niggas are just genuinely fucked up individuals, and you got to live with that. But not only that, like, you separate yourself from me. Exactly. Yeah. You can't you can't bring bad energy to me if I don't come around you. Mm. You can't ya 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 or tell me all this crazy shit you got going on if I don't be around you. Apparently we not on the same level or the same status. If your mind going over here and my mind going over here, what is we hanging together for? Honestly. This whole I thing. love you. Don't get it twisted, even if you my partner. But from a distance. I love you. <laughs> But I got too much going on to be tripping again. Yeah, I feel like this whole interview, I was trying to like get into your mental to see how you was feeling, what you were thinking. And you always say, like, you pray, you was prayed up, and that's dope. But I know it was sometimes where you was like frustrated, and I really want to know about those times. I'm curious to know. You said you, you had a, your first feature when you first got out was what um, one of your partners, like. Yeah, Fredo. Fredo. Um, it was some like differences between like, them and you really gotta like charge it to my brain and not my heart because I really don't mean no better. I just don't know. It was some differences like with him and NBA. Yeah, through the internet, I was looking at okay. that when I first come on. So, but but what I wanted to go was when you got booked, all y'all was like kind of I don't want to say the same level. I want to be careful with my words because I, I I wasn't down south, so I really don't know the culture. But right. y'all was like, like you said, that was your man. You know what I'm saying? Like y'all was all yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, around the same when I t- level of celebrity like yeah, started, it was yeah, we're pretty sh- we're street niggas. Then. Right. <laughs> yeah. Coming out though, right? And seeing these niggas, I mean, it, like all due respect, I don't know if it's still smoke or nothing like that, but seeing NBA young boy been like this nigga is one of the biggest artists out now. And like me and him, like we grew up together. But coming That's out of crazy. jail, like, like going, and seeing everybody, like exactly. I've been gone, so I come home, like y'all kind of look different to me. You hear me? Everybody looking bigger, and you know y'all status up. Y'all got your money up. I'm seeing all these chains. I'm like, damn. But when you're in jail, I don't see nothing. How you the know? fuck? Like going in, I'm we all look- similar, right? Coming out, these niggas is superstars. How the fuck was that for you? I mean, I ain't really know what to think about it. Like it was kind of crazy, but. My partner's already up, so like they was, you know, bringing me into their life because they don't want me in the street. Mm. They don't want me doing what I was doing. So I used to still go look, just to, like I'm just getting home, so I ain't not. I get on Instagram and just be looking, like man, that can't be this nigga. You hear me? Oh, then I go look at Bang. You hear me, Fredo? I'm like man, look at this nigga, man. It's crazy because. You know, like when I left, it wasn't like that. Right, that's what you I'm know, saying. No, everybody was coming up a little bit. Exactly. But I come on, I, you know, I'm saying like niggas living like DJ Khaled and them. You hear me? Yachts and all this shit. I'm like, man, this shit crazy. At first, like you know, I used to hear people in jail like they saying free dust, saying woo wop. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, you hear me? That's my partner. But you know, my mind frame wasn't really on. Warris and you know money, jewelry, all this shit. Cause we ain't come from that shit. My mind frame on surviving. Mm-hmm. You hear me? But surviving and change when I come home. You know what I'm saying? It's a different type of survivor. I ain't lying. I was proud of them. Mm-hmm. Like it's like I was living in a dream on some shit. Like come home. You gotta think I ain't been home a day or two. I'm in the back of a Maybach. A what? A Maybach. Man, I'm, I ain't never seen no Maybach in person. First off, and me getting in, oh, man, you couldn't tell me that you thought I was rich. Mm. 
But like that, that was different because we, you know, we in little Hondas, little Nissans, you know what I'm saying? Little buckets. When I left, when I come, everything foreign. Your wrist worth eighty. The hell going on? You hear me? got them bricks. We, we turn. <laughs> nah, this rap. Yeah. Yeah. Was was that a part of like? Like that was part of like me changing too. Like yeah. maybe they right. Maybe I do need to change. Maybe my man living too wild. Maybe God talking to me through them, putting that in my face to get from there. That's, That's God. I'll be saying shit. confirmation come. That's you don't have shit. to ask for confirmation. You pray and they're going to show. So is it ever, was it ever a point, or even now, is it ever a point where you used to be like, damn, man, like I see everybody lit and these are all my homies. My time, my time, my time. Do you ever have those thoughts at all? Come on, you hear me, man. I know I mean, you had some time. Like when I was in jail, but I wasn't. But since you've been home, like oh, I've been turned <laughs> like a couple hundred. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm young. Like fuck a couple hundred. <laughs> I ain't saying a, yeah, a yeah. good thirty. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you're right, so now you're right, you're right. you know four five hundred. Shit, I mean, what more can you ask for? I mean, yeah, it gonna and then it keep coming. Yeah, as long as I keep doing what I'm doing, keep grinding, it's just a different hustle. And like they had to make me see that. Mm. But like nah, like, I don't know, some days it still don't feel real like, yeah, I go to the bank or yeah, I pull a 50 ball out. Yeah, like it's nothing though. Boy, back then, boy, <laughs> boy, five grand to get your head took off. Mm. So think about playing with 50 just like this ain't nothing now. So is that like, I don't wanna say circle again, forgive me, viewers, because y'all niggas be killing me in the comments sometimes. But is that circle like um, okay now? Like Fredo, NBA, you? Like it's casual. We just don't, okay. don't bang with them. We just stay away. Ain't no smoke. Just stay away. You cool. You know. Is that like some hood shit that just like inherited beef type shit or? <laughs> like how did, I'm just curious. Like I really like, don't know. I don't really know how to explain it. Like, some people say it's inherited. Some people say it's just the hoods. But at the end of the day, it's like, it's family, basically. It's like families just don't mess with them families. But it just straight in the street. Like, honestly. Like, yeah, my brother don't like your brother. Be simple, you know, a little stupid shit, really. But when people tend to get hurt through situations. It's deeper than that. Mm. So is it any way, I know this is gonna sound like some old head shit, but fuck it. Is it any way that that could ever even be rekindled? Because like you said, it started with some stupid shit. I don't know what, but could that be rekindled? <laughs> Niggas is laughing at me in the back. <laughs> I clearly don't know what the fuck is going on. <laughs> but I'm, I'm asking out of, excuse like, my ignorance, but I'm for oh, real, yeah, like, yeah. could it be? It's cool, but like, me personally, I can only speak for myself. Like, I tell them like, what happened, happened. I ain't mad with you, homie. I'm not. Like, I feel like we can't change it. It is what it is. But uh, buddy, 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 nah. Chilling and hang, nah. Just stay your distance. Just Why is stay that my for you? Distance. Me? Mm -hmm. I mean, so much to happen, and then I hear so much while I was in jail, and then I be, you know, hear songs, and really, in a sense, it's not, oh, they did this, or this person did this. You don't, it's just still the streets. You don't trust nobody, honestly. I don't, once you show me a flaw, like, I can't get mad at you for being you. That's your flaw. Mm. But I'm not gonna fuck with you for your flaw. And I'm not mad at you for your flaw. But I'm gonna stay away from you for your flaw. Mm. Cause that can cost me. Honestly. And I ain't talking money. It could cost me my life. In multiple ways. I ain't just talking death. Honestly. That's just how I feel about it. That's understandable, damn. That's crazy. 
Nah, man. I will. I appreciate it, dog. Did, it, did, did we not? Did we touch on everything? Was there anything that I didn't touch on? I mean, me? I don't know. Like, me, I just answered the question. But me personally, I've been working. I've been grinding. Mm. I've been getting to it every day, day and night. Videos, shows, interviews, features, studio on my own, just all night. I got to do this for the clickbait. I got to do this. Yes, sir. Of course. I mean, we got to. <laughs> How is working with Gates? Like you signed with him, that's a big deal thing now. Like, how? how is like, that? I mean, me personally, like I grew up under Gates, so like I've been on him all my life. Like, basically, I was his little nigga. Mm. So like now, we on he of course he on a bigger status, but it's still the same for me. Like the love don't change. Just got stronger. How is the work though? Because like you said, you've been working. You've been oh yeah, like work. Like, how, yeah, how, yeah, yeah. That's good. Like that's fun. <laughs> honestly, how often are you are you with him? How often are you working with him? Like at least say like if I don't see him this week, well he gonna Facetime me damn near every day. <laughs> but, that's hard, bro. That's fine. <laughs> but like if like we don't be together physically. About a week, then the next week, then I'll probably be with him. That's hard. Mind what's me. the, give me, what's your, like, the funniest story y'all on tour of you on Gates? I don't know. It'd be I like, know it's some crazy like shit. Like, the this shit that be happening, like, <laughs> I don't know, like, that, in the interview, ooh, ooh it'll be crazy, you know what I'm saying? That, shit, that's what it's for, you got to bust the nigga, I want to come like, up. It'd be <laughs> crazy, like, I done had... Like we were, I mean, one day we were trying to get to the bus, and like they had some women fans, like they in front the the door, like of the bus, but they holding each other hands, like they trying to, you know how you make like a tailgate kind of mm -hmm. block the door, yeah, and they refuse to move, like literally, but they serious, but it's funny to us because you know why they doing that? They want a picture, mm. but in our mind we come from, what the hell are you doing? You tripping? You kind of. Spooked is on a slick, but it don't really be that love. Like people really be feeling that energy. And I just I like we we laughed about it all night, but when it first happened, I'm like, oh man, we can't stay right here. I'm gonna get on the bus. Cause like I don't know how to explain it. But like it was a weird moment. Like then one time, I think I was coming on the stage, y'all finna get ready to go on the stage. But they was talking to me. And they had this little dude, like, I think he was hollering at a chick. But she blew him, blew him down, you know, did him bad. But he saying, I first, I don't like that. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, then you try to come flirt with us. Flirt this way, you know what I'm saying? Wait, wait, wait. Set that story all together. You said yeah. she, she blew him down, I'm assuming she. Yeah, like. That's the ass, whoop, bop, bop. Like, okay, okay. But I don't like that. You know what I'm saying? Because honestly, he might not got too much, but apparently he really, really liked it. You know, that hurt little dude feelings. But in a way, like, he'll give you his legs. You'll treat him like shit. You don't even know us or know me. But you'll go beyond. Nah, that don't go like that. I ain't respect that. So, you know me. I'm ignorant. Yeah. Fucking talk to me. <laughs> but I was joking just, you know, to show how I feel, you know what I'm saying? Was laughing. But so when wait, I seen she blew I who down? She blew Gates down? No, oh. shit, no. What well, could you say? I'm like, well, I'm like, she blew the little dude who was hollering okay, at okay. by the stage. Okay, but she trying to holler at you. Yeah, you know, flirting oh, yeah, and nah, shit. Fuck all that. Nah, I ain't respect that. Yeah, nah. I mean, as you should. You hear me? Because, like, I don't know. I don't believe in, like, Say if you ain't got it and I got it, like I don't believe I'm trying to shit on you like I'm better than you. Yeah, cause I I got more money than you, and and I got dressed better than you, and Facts. but you shitted on them for that. You could have now nah, got a boyfriend. I'm straight, but instead you want to make your little friends and all them laugh and, and shit on them, and I don't like that. She probably was young as up, man. She, she probably know better. Give, yeah, she, she know her. better. You're right. She, 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 know she better. probably didn't know. Give her a pass for now. But, yeah. but that's why I ain't really click. But they looked at me and started laughing. That's why we it was funny to us. 
But I'm like, nah, I just fuck with you. Yeah, you know, some funny shit. But just Joseph, but then I, I come back and spoke to him. That's, your, that's good, man. What, what, last question, man. What, what do you want people, when they hear you speak, they see these interviews and stuff like that, what do you want people to take from, from you? Take heed. Take heed. Get the money, go live life. Travel, experience the world. Don't get stuck in your hood. Don't get stuck in poverty. I got out, anybody could get out. Mm. And like when I say that, like I really believe that. Cause like, you don't wanna take that road. Like you gotta go through jail, sit down, stay away from your family, all your partners dying. You know, people die every day, but it's different when it's yours, mm. when they're close to you. You don't wanna go through that. It's not worth it, man. You look on the video, you see them with that iron and all that. He ain't even living like that. Honestly, don't follow that. Yo, they Honestly, be, bro, they could be crazy, bro. And just like they be saying, school this ain't for everybody. School might not, but try it at least. Honestly, that's some real go. Shit. And I'll tell you that I graduated. It wasn't for me though. I tried though. I tried. It kept me free for a long time. Mm. Honestly, but certain people really made for school, but they had a wrong influence around them. And want to live like that? Nah, that ain't what up at all. No, nah, man, I appreciate it. Uh, for the for the people that don't know, let them know how to follow you and and, and stream all your music and all that. Follow me at fl underscore dusa d u s a fl underscore d u s a. You hear me? Same thing on YouTube on all platforms, Apple Music, all that. You could get me anywhere. Title, all that. Appreciate it, dog. It was great talking to you, man. Yes, sir. Great conversation. Mm -hmm. FL Dessa, Mr. J Hill. It's a wrap.